The world is at a critical point. Just one wrong move and everything goes up in flames. As the global unrest continues to rise to unprecedented levels, the United States is preparing its finest weapons, waiting for the right time to deploy them. This weapon is a powerful laser system that can penetrate through anything with ease and precision that has never been seen before. Unlike other weapons which can be intercepted, the laser system is pretty unavoidable. Can these lasers really destroy fighter jets in seconds? How do they work? Join us as we delve into the destruction details of the United States laser that can destroy fighter jets in seconds. Military weapons are no longer the regular and predictable one that the military has grown accustomed to. New weapons are being created and they bear extremely destructive capabilities that the world has never seen before. And it gets even better or worse, they are totally unstoppable. After decades of ceaseless work and intense dedication, laser weapons have finally become something more than fiction, a reality. And this is with all thanks to the United States. It's no wonder China is totally uncomfortable because they might be at the receiving end of the U.S. latest development due to their unfriendly history. China has always been a technologically advanced country, and it continues to grow at a breathtaking pace by building powerful technologies of the future, directly threatening the United States' stance. The Chinese have developed hypersonic missiles, something that the United States had a hard time creating. This country has also invested in the creation of its sixth generation fighter jets and laser weapons. Despite being a few steps behind the United States in terms of military arsenals and resources, the U.S. still feels threatened and the reason is not far-fetched. China has created something that the United States is not so comfortable about, hypersonic missiles. In fact, China's hypersonic missiles are already the closest thing to perfect hypersonic missiles in the world today. These powerful missiles can carry conventional and nuclear warheads at extreme speeds that are more than two times the speed of sound. They are, without doubt, the most unstoppable missiles on the aircraft today. Some of these missiles include the DF-17, a medium-range missile that can travel very fast and reach up to 1,000 miles. The YJ-21, which is designed to fly at speeds between Mach 6 and Mach 10, and can also go up to 930 miles, potentially becoming the first hypersonic missile launched from ships. And the DF-27, the newest missile in China's hypersonic collection, with a range of 3,000 to 5,000 miles, capable of hitting targets in East and Southeast Asia and much of the Pacific, where the U.S. might defend Taiwan from China. China is one of the few countries developing sixth-generation fighter jets. Dr. Wang Haong, the lead designer at Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, announced that China started researching these advanced jets in January 2019 and expects the project to be completed by 2035. Like other nations working on sixth-generation jets, China will improve upon the fifth-generation technology. For China, this means using the J-20, their most advanced fighter jet, as a foundation. The J-20's capabilities will be enhanced several times and then incorporated into the sixth-generation jet. As a result of this, the United States has now responded by building, developing, and fielding the one weapon faster and more lethal than hypersonic missiles, laser weapons. Lasers are a type of light energy, with laser standing for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. This energy, when concentrated, can burn through targets from miles away at the speed of light, about 300 million meters per second, making it impossible for any drone, mortar, or fighter to escape its destruction. Unlike traditional weapons, lasers are not affected by wind or gravity, so they work efficiently and can be used for long periods. A laser weapon can keep firing as long as it has power, essentially having unlimited ammunition. Additionally, once you have a laser weapon, using it costs very little. These advantages explain why the world's strongest militaries are rapidly developing laser weapons. It's also clear that there's a renewed race to develop advanced laser weapons, largely due to the development of hypersonic weapons. Hypersonic missiles can move at speeds of Mach 5 and above, traveling a mile every second. Currently, no air defense system in the US, Russia, or China can match that speed. But all three countries are working on hypersonic missiles, making them all vulnerable to these weapons. Laser weapons could eliminate this vulnerability, so all three nations are investing heavily in them. Aside from the United States, 
China is one of the few countries developing laser weapons for fighter jets, and they have made significant progress. Recently, Chinese scientists announced a new cooling system that keeps high-energy lasers from overheating. If China can make these lasers powerful and compact enough to fit on fighter jets, this cooling system could allow them to fire continuously and cause massive destruction. China has also announced their plans to equip its J-20 stealth fighter with laser weapons, which could greatly improve its air-to-air -air capabilities and offer defense against hypersonic threats. Chinese military expert Wang Ming Liang said in an interview that the J-20 could also have the option to be manned or unmanned and control drone swarms, in addition to having laser weapons. The requirements for these laser weapons were announced in 2020, but China has been developing them since the 1990s, with examples like the ZM-87, which can disable enemies from over 9 kilometers away. Laser weapons could become the most powerful non-nuclear weapon on Chinese jets. They have an endless supply of ammunition and numerous advantages due to how lasers work. As a form of light energy, lasers can hit targets from miles away at the speed of light, about one-eighth six miles per second, making them impossible to outrun. Unlike traditional weapons, lasers are unaffected by wind and gravity, allowing them to operate efficiently and continuously as long as they have power. If equipped with a cooling system, they can keep firing without overheating. Additionally, laser weapons are inexpensive to use since they only require power to operate. Russia began working on developing laser weapons even earlier, dating as far back as the 1970s. Russia had always had plans to use an aircraft-mounted laser as an anti-satellite weapon. Tests with a modified Bereev A-60 aircraft began in 1981, and after a long delay, the project was revived in 2003 under the name Sokol Echelon. From this, the 1LK-222 laser system was developed for the A-60, for which tests began back in 2009. Certainly, the use of each laser weapon would depend on the amount of power that is available to the fighter. Lower power lasers could detonate smaller missiles or blind sensors, while higher powered lasers can burn through larger missiles and fighter jets to take them out of the sky. All of these benefits and capabilities contribute to why world powers have their eyes set on these weapons. And while China is making some moves in the right direction, it is still American laser weapons that currently dominate the space. In 2016, former Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yuri Borisov stated in an interview that work to improve the A-60's tactical and technical aspects was underway and that ground and flight tests of the weapon were ongoing. Today, the program is undergoing heavy modernization processes to help Russia get to the ribbon in the race to hypersonic weapons. The United States has been working on laser weapons the longest and is closest to achieving fighter jet-mounted lasers. However, despite their advantages, laser weapons are complex and delicate. No country has yet deployed a working laser weapon on fighter jets. These airborne lasers need to be durable, reliable, and able to withstand a high-performance flight. They also require a way to generate and store large amounts of electricity. Even if these challenges are met, laser beams lose strength as they travel through the atmosphere and targets and clouds might be protected from the laser's impact, making this a significant drawback. To tackle these challenges, the U.S. has assigned its top experts to the task. Major American weapons manufacturers like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman have been contracted to develop powerful compact laser systems for aircraft. Promising progress dates back to 2002 with the YL-1A airborne laser on a modified Boeing 747-400F designed to shoot down ballistic missiles during their boost phase. More recently, the Tactical Airborne Laser System project with Lockheed Martin aims to mount a laser weapon on a fighter jet by 2023. However, the program was canceled in 2011 due to cost overruns and design limitations as the laser required bulky equipment and massive amounts of power to overcome atmospheric distortion over long distances. Despite previous setbacks, the U.S. is revisiting airborne laser weapons with at least two projects. These include the Tactical Airborne Laser System Project with Lockheed Martin, aiming to equip a fighter jet with a laser weapon by 2023, and the more prominent Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, also known as Shield Project, developed by Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon Technologies.
Shield is a laser weapon whose contract was issued in 2017 for development by three of the world's prominent defense contractors. The goal is to design, develop, and deliver to the Air Force a laser weapon that can be fitted on fighter jets. Northrop Grumman would deliver the weapon's beam control system. Boeing would deliver the pod subsystem that mounts other components from Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin to the aircraft's underside, and Lockheed Martin would deliver the laser itself. This laser is known as LANCE, meaning Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. Lockheed Martin received $26.3 million in funding from the Air Force for LANCE, the company's specialization in laser weapon development for the last 40 years, particularly with essential advancements such as precision pointing and control, line of sight stabilization, and adaptive optics, made them the perfect pick to develop the most decisive component of the shield laser weapon. They announced on July 11, 2022, that they had secretly delivered Lance to the Air Force five months prior, in February 2022. The company also announced that Lance in many ways leverages technology building blocks from internal research and development projects, including the Army's robust electric laser initiative, or RELI program. This implies that Lance could be a 60,000 watt class laser weapon or a scaled up version of it. According to Lockheed Martin executive Tyler Griffin, Lance is the smallest, lightest high energy laser of its power class that the company has ever built. At this stage, it's uncertain what list of aircraft Lance is intended to equip. Lockheed Martin has, however, released concept art that shows the pod being wielded by an F-16 fighter jet, which gave us a hint that the fighter is a likely candidate. Another likely candidate is America's sixth generation fighter, under development in the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program. Thanks to the fighter's super high power output, it just might be the prime candidate to wield shield. Even in the concept art of the American sixth generation fighter released to the public, the sixth generation fighter is being developed under the Next Generation Air Dominance program, or NGAD for short. NGAD is beyond just a fighter development program though. It is the U.S.'s effort towards fielding a next-generation family of systems that revolve around the manned sixth-generation fighter. Many concept artworks have been released depicting what this fighter could look like and the capabilities it would have. These artworks usually point towards the fighter having a stealthy tailless design that incorporates a diamond-shaped wing with straight leading and trailing edges. The wing is closely blended with an elongated fuselage that features a single prominent chine line and tapers sharply toward the nose. Most importantly, the fighter would wield new advanced sensors, engines, networking, and battle management capabilities and weapons. Further proof is that both Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, two companies working on S.H.I.E.L.D., have released concept artwork of the sixth generation fighter. And in the case of the Northrop Grumman artwork, the fighter was using a laser shot to take out an airborne threat. Although the concept art from Lockheed Martin doesn't show a similar laser shot, it does share enough similarities with the art from Northrop Grumman to indicate that the artworks from both companies simply focus on different things, but indeed feature the same fighter with the same capabilities. From a stealthy design to advanced internal weapons and everything in between, airborne laser weapons could be the end of dogfights, of barges, of kinetic weapons, and of the rivalry going on between the U.S. and China as one eventually gaps the other. This time, the United States is fully committed to creating a laser-equipped fighter jet. Laser weapons could eliminate dogfights, allowing pilots to focus on making the first shot from miles away, which would likely be a kill shot. This potential invincibility is why air forces and defense contractors are prioritizing laser weapons for aircraft. Let's talk extensively about the NGAD program that has the whole world buzzing. The Next Generation Air Dominance, also known as NGAD, is a United States Air Force project to develop a new set of air superiority systems to replace the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The main part of NGAD is a manned fighter jet called the Penetrating Counter Air Platform. This jet will be supported by uncrewed aircraft known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft or loyal wingmen through manned-unmanned teaming. The NGAD began with DARPA's Air Dominance Initiative study in 2014 
and aims to introduce a new fighter aircraft in the 2030s. Initially proposed as a joint Air Force-Navy program, the two branches eventually created separate offices and programs. Though they share the NGAD name, the Air Force's NGAD is different from the Navy's. The Navy's program, called FT-AXX, has a similar timeline for fielding its manned fighter component. In April 2012, the Navy asked for information about a new aircraft called the F-AXX. They want it to be really good at fighting in the air and doing other jobs, like attacking targets on the ground and helping ships. It needs to be able to fly fast without using too much fuel and be hard to detect by enemies. They also want it to do things like refueling other aircraft, spying on enemies, and jamming their communications. This new aircraft will replace old ones like the F-A-18 Super Hornets that are getting too old to fly safely. It's kind of like how the F-35C replaced some old aircraft and works together with others, but this new one will replace the Super Hornets and work alongside the F-35C. Even though the F-AXX aircraft will be really advanced, the Navy doesn't want to say too much about it yet because it's still in the very beginning of being made. They might use a bunch of new technologies like better ways for the aircraft to connect with other stuff and smart covers with sensors built into them to make the aircraft faster and better at dodging things in the sky. They want the aircraft to be built in a way that lets them easily change the stuff it carries, like sensors and weapons, depending on what they need for each mission. This flexible design will probably depend on what kind of new engine the aircraft industry comes up with. The Navy and the U.S. Air Force are teaming up to make a new fighter jet that can fly really fast without using too much fuel. However, they don't fully agree on whether a special kind of engine technology called adaptive cycle jet engine technology can work well for a fighter jet that takes off from aircraft carriers. The head of the Navy, Jonathan Greenert, guessed in February 2015 that the new F-AXX aircraft wouldn't depend mainly on being really fast or hard to see as older aircraft did. This is because new technology makes it easier for enemies to spot aircraft and shoot them down with fast weapons. Instead, the new fighter will have lots of ways to protect itself, like being hard to see, using advanced technology, being able to move well, and being fast. It will also carry many new kinds of powerful weapons to overpower or stop enemy attacks. One idea is to make the aircraft cheaper and use expensive weapons to destroy threats. According to the Navy's plan, the aircraft won't need to have all the sensors on board. It will get information from other sources to find targets and use weapons. The F-AXX will carry missiles, have systems for high-powered weapons, and have sensors that can find small targets. They are also looking into using cyber warfare on a smaller scale as part of a group of systems. On May 2015, Navy Secretary Ray Mabus said that the F-AXX aircraft should be able to fly on its own without a pilot if needed. They are working on a bunch of different systems to replace the F-A18EF and EA18G aircraft, not just one type of aircraft. The Navy is teaming up with the Air Force to figure out what their next aircraft should be like. Greenert likes the idea of having an aircraft that can fly with or without a pilot, so it can be used for different jobs. The aircraft needs to be able to take off and land on Navy aircraft carriers like the Nimitz class and Gerald R. Ford class ones. Such a fighter is what the U.S. would need to address the Chinese threat that has lasted decades and grown into one that wields the most unstoppable type of missiles in history. On achieving that milestone, one thing still stands in the way of China's military dominance and that is a fleet of invincible American laser weapons on fighter jets. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.